today we're taking a look at Ray RGE5. This is a Wi-Fi 6 router, AX3200, dual band gigabit, and this does have built-in mesh connectivity. If you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, you know that I have reviewed a couple Ray E products on this channel and I'm a huge fan. Now, some of the products, of course, is the Ray He E6. This is one of the most powerful routers that I've tried. This has eight stream for gaming, eight antennas, 2.5 gigabit WAN, two gigahertz quad core processor, as well as smart VPN. And this is compatible or ideal for large homes. We also reviewed the E4. This again was a great product. AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 covers up to 3000 square feet. And of course, we reviewed the Ray E Home Mesh System 2 pack. And this is ideal for giving you complete coverage. Today, we're taking a look at one of the other flagship models. So this is gonna sit Below the E6, but a little bit over the E4. And this has a lot of cool features. One click mesh connectivity, strong Wi-Fi signal, dead zone killer, mix and match, and maximize your clients, which means you can use this multiple ways and we'll show you here in a little bit. As far as some of the specifications, this is gonna give you dual band Wi-Fi, 4.4 spatial stream making, concurrency up to 3,200 megs. Now this is gonna be 150 times higher than Wi-Fi 5. Ideal for gaming, for streaming. So much built in, 1024 Quam, BSS coloring, OFDMA, MU Mimo, and this has a lot to offer. So we're gonna unbox it, put it to the test. Shout out to Ray for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right guys, so today I got another unboxing knife and you're gonna laugh when you see this one. This thing is, I'm gonna say it's a little bit of overkill for what I'm doing, but why not? First in the box, we are gonna have a quick start guide. It's gonna get you quickly set up. Of course, we're gonna have a warranty information. We also have a card, and this card is gonna have some contact information, support, as well as the Ray website. So if you have any issues or just wanna reach out, let them know how everything's working, definitely give them a shout. We have the router in the box. We're gonna take a look at that here in a little bit. But also, we have ethernet cable, and we have power adapter. Power adapter is gonna be 12 volt, 2.5 output. It's a nice presentation here of the unit. All right, you can see each side has the antennas folded. Uh, if you look close, you can see that's gonna be two antennas on each side, so pretty cool. All right, we do have a button right here. This is gonna be your mesh, so easily connect to other units. I'll show you how that works here in a little bit. This has a lot <laughs> going on. Look closer, there's a little gap right here. This is for ventilation. Also on the bottom, we're gonna have a lot of vents just to make sure the unit cools off properly. So on the back of the unit, we're gonna have our reset button. We're gonna have our plug, LAN one, two, three, four, and we're gonna have their WAN port. This is where your uh, modem is gonna plug in. So overall, very stylish unit. Ray's always been good with design presentation. And the best thing about these units is that they're normally really powerful. Let's go ahead and get it set up and give it a test. So there's a couple ways to set up or configure your router. First one is via the web. So what you need to do here is connect your smartphone or your computer to the router using a wired or wireless connection. Now for the wired connection, use the ethernet cable to your computer into the ethernet port and then you can proceed to the next step. For wireless connection, open Wi-Fi settings on your smartphone and connect to the Wi-Fi network that starts with Rehi. Now once you're connected to the network, follow the instructions on the display setup page to complete the setup. So that's method number one via the web browser. Method number two is via the application. So, so download the Rehi application on your mobile device. This works on Android as well as Apple. Connect to the network and then go through the instructions and set up again, pretty straightforward. Also very important that if you have more than one Rehi unit, you can set this up as a mesh network. So here's a quick look at the UI after we log into the web interface. So first thing you're gonna see, nice big 
buttons up top you have home clients internet wi-fi settings then we have the language selection and some other options right here include an option to change your password now further down you're going to have a nice look at the router itself let you know it's connected let you know what clients or what devices are connected and you can see in this case there are three devices connected uh, below that we have some basic options we can change the host name show the serial number as well as the hardware version getting into the wi-fi settings you can see the primary um, Wi-Fi security is enabled. You do have the option to toggle the guest Wi-Fi on and off as well. All the way to the bottom, you're going to have your Ethernet status. So you can see currently I only have the WAN port connected, but I do have those four ports that's also available. Let's quickly go through the menus. Clients is going to outline all the client devices. Cool thing about these, you can kick them off from the web interface. You can block them. You can add them to a schedule. So, so a lot of different options within the client page. You have your internet page, all right? Basically tell you type of connection, DHCP, static, PPPoE. You also have the DNS server, IP address, subnet mask, as well as your gateway. All right, over to the Wi-Fi. We do have dual band single SSID. So basically this allows you to either have one Wi-Fi name or you can split it up into multiple. So if you wanted to, for instance, separate the 2.4 from the five gigahertz, you can go ahead and do so. You also have the option to update your SSID as well as change your password. So the last option is going to go to your settings and this is where you're going to be able to do some fine tuning to your router. So you have your LAN options right here. You have IPTV set up, IPv6, wireless LAN. All right. So your blacklist, your frequency, stuff like that. Cool. You do have your work mode. So right now it's set as a router, but you can set it as an access point or a repeater. So the, as far as your security, you have your ARP list VPN so you can set up uh, PPTP or you can set up open VPN on this device advanced settings ton of options here port mapping dynamic DNS UPnP local DNS Rehi mesh as well hardware acceleration port settings Wi-Fi switch as well as your other settings so um, a lot of different options here guys you can see right here it can say system time management you can change that password you can check the upgrades you can see you can also adjust the led so you can turn it off so this is one way to access your your device you can also access your device from the rehi cloud which allows you to access a lot of these settings over the network and we'll probably do a separate video on that i am connected via wi-fi to my desktop pc so let's go ahead and we'll do a quick speed test 13 millisecond ping download is 543 upload it's gonna remain around 20. just to let you guys know i am paying for 500 megabits per second on the download and 20 on the upload so a quick look at the applications it's gonna have some of the same information that we saw on the web page so you can see gives you the network status download as well as upload speed you click on the device itself it is going to give you the basic information and also if you take a close look it's going to tell you how many clients are connected next we're going to have the scenario so we do have parental controls built in for instance i can block i can allow i can set the schedule uh, some of the same things that we saw in the web interface below that we have the guest wi-fi where we can turn on and off we have the internet of things so if you guys wanted a separate network let's say for your amazon devices your echo dots your cameras your smart door locks this is where you can create a network designed for those things and over to the settings again it's going to show you your wi-fi information change the password you can reboot you do have the led settings again where you can turn that on and off you have the update option if you select advanced it's going to go into those advanced settings again same information that we saw on the web interface so let's go ahead and we'll do a speed test on here then what we'll do is we'll start seeing how much coverage we'll get with this device so right now i'm about 10 feet from the router let's go ahead and give it a test all right so really solid ping again 14 milliseconds download is 591 upload again is going to be around 20 23 which is pretty awesome but what we're going to do now is walk around and see how this performs when it's going through a wall through a floorboard when i'm outside <laughs> when i'm inside back patio and so on and so forth so let's go ahead and do that so in order to do a good speed test i wanted to go to various places around my house now this includes 
inside, outside on the balcony on the second story, downstairs where it goes through floorboards. Also, I wanted to go in the backyard and to the edge of the property just to see if it picks up when I'm not directly in the house. So here are the results of the speed test. So the first one was outside on the balcony. Now this is going through about two walls, about 30 feet away. It is going through an exterior wall. Download was 591 and upload was 23. Now next I went downstairs. This is probably directly below the unit, but it is going through the floorboards. Guessing it's around 30 feet or so. Download was 586 and upload was 23. Now after that, I went outside. Now this was not only going through exterior walls, but it is also going through the floorboard. Now on the speed test result, I got a 203 download and a 22 upload. So even going through the exterior walls, floorboard it still did really well beyond that i did go out a little bit and i estimated about 60 feet or so this is in the backyard at the edge of the property line and still decent result guys 236 download and 14 upload so the upload suffered a little bit but download was still solid now next i went to the front yard and even though it's outside this had me a direct line of sight to the window that the actual router was in test results were really solid guys 413 download and 20 upload so you can see the overall results there just solid coverage around the house around the yard i think this unit did a really good job so i just want to give a big shout out to ray for sponsoring this video i will put a link in the description where you can go ahead and pick it up along with any coupon codes that may be available if you have any questions about this drop it in the comments if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one